Just as Hallmark's countdown to Christmas 2024 has kicked off, the Feel Good Network is being sued for a very shocking reason. The network has been hit with an age discrimination suit. The most shocking part of this age discrimination suit is that Lisa Hamilton Daly, the EVP of programming of Hallmark Media, has allegedly called the Queen of Hallmark Christmas, Lacey Chabot, as well as others, too old. Who is suing the network? And what are the ageist allegations? Here are all the details. Hallmark exec allegedly accused of calling Lacey Chabot too old. Just as Hallmark is ready to kick of the second week of their annual Christmas flicks. Starting with the Miracles of Christmas movie, this time each year, starring 48-year-old Alison Sweeney and 44-year-old Newell Matta, the network is being sued for age discrimination. This is a very delicate and complex legal situation. This is what has been shared thus so far. Late on Wednesday, Variety reported, based on the filing, that Penny Perry, the former Hallmark casting director, who matched up Lacey Chabot with Brennan Elliott for the All of My Heart movie, is suing the network for age discrimination. The 79-year-old Perry said that Lisa Hamilton Daly reportedly said that the network wanted less old talent and needed to be replaced with younger stars. Allegedly, the network believed Perry didn't know enough younger talent. Perry said that Hamilton Daly allegedly said, Lacey's getting older and we have to find someone like her to replace her as she gets older. Next, the EVP of programming at Hallmark Media allegedly spoke of Holly Robinson Pete whose last movie for the network was Holiday Heritage in 2022. She allegedly said of the 60-year-old 21 Jump Street alum, no one wants her because she's too expensive and getting too old. She can't play leading roles anymore. Long in the tooth, 79-year-old casting director fired from network. Henny Perry is well known in the Hallmark world for pairing up on-screen couples. Perry worked for the network for nearly a decade. She is the person behind putting Christopher Polaha and Jill Wagner in the Mystery 101 series. In addition, she casted Three Bed, Two Bath, One Ghost. That includes real-life couple July Gonzalo and Chris McNally. In addition, she cast Madeleine Arthur, who was fantastic as the ghost. The suit alleges that although she worked for the network for nearly a decade, her final days at the network were far from feel good. Perry alleges that Hamilton Daly called her long in the tooth. More about the Hallmark age discrimination suit. In addition to the ageist claims about her and the actresses, Kenny Perry had other issues. She asked for special accommodations as she has MS. In addition, she is legally blind in one eye. However, she contends she was still capable of working for the network, but they delayed accommodating her. Next, she was on leave for heart surgery. When she returned, she discovered they were hiring a new person with her same job duties, yet they had a different title for this job. Things changed when she returned from getting a pacemaker put in. Hallmark gave her 48 hours to accept a 50% pay cut and loaded benefits or lose her job. Perry was concerned about the age and disability discrimination. Therefore, she asked to speak with a lawyer. They did not heed her complaints. Lastly, Perry also alleges that the network said that she quit and was not fired. The suit is 37 pages long, but it is an easy, but shocking reading for a legal document. One thing of note, Perry was hired by Elizabeth Yost. She is the former Hallmark executive who oversaw development of such programming as the Wedding Veil vale Trilogy. Yost also was let go by the company last spring. The former EVP of programming, Michelle Vickery, left not long after Bill Abbott stepped down. What does the network say about aged out Lacey and HRP? What does Hallmark have to say about these accusations? Is their Queen of Christmas is aging out of her rom-com roles? According to Deadline, the network has shared a statement. Lacey and Holly have a home at Hallmark. 
We do not generally comment on pending litigation, and while we deny these outrageous allegations, we are not going to discuss an employment relationship in the media. Meanwhile, neither Lacey nor HRP have issued a formal statement, nor has either actress shared anything on their socials. However, what may speak volumes now is that Lacey Chabot is starring in her first Netflix Christmas movie this year called Hot Frosty. Her only Hallmark Christmas movie this season is The Christmas Quest with Christopher Pollard.